Now, please, uh, say go. your name correctly for me one more time. Okay, full name Mahogany, nickname Hago. Okay, Let's give it up for Hago, please. All right, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Good. Good. All right, so I got basically like a rap poem going on, so Ooh. I want to share it with you guys. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Yeah. How many of y'all have ignored your intuition? Who girl, I'm doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> you knew something was right, but you still went against it anyway. Yeah. So this piece that I wrote is like a rap slash poem. It's like a uh, me and my intuition going back and forth. So here I go. And I want to share my little freestyle with y'all later, but it's quick. Dear intuition, sometimes I'm not ignoring you. I'm just not ready to process what you observed. All the times you drove me to solutions, I kicked you to the curb, the nerve. But processing means take big steps, self-check, let go of beliefs I'm not ready to get. Face things I'm not in the space to, go at a pace that's way too intense. Most times I defend the very thing you're against, no offense. I know sometimes you question my sense. I can also tell your love for me is extremely immense, but I place you on a back burner. It's so crazy cause sometimes I'm my biggest back turner. The biggest lesson life has given me is where she gonna learn her? All the wisdom and knowledge she need is within her. Trying to find her passion, it's already built in her. Neglect herself often, I know the guilt is killing her. Since she wanna act like she don't hear me, let me put the script in her. Intuition isn't you or anxiety, society or my anxiety. Lows trying to rise out of me, truths outlying me. And my trigger from the past, are you telling me to haul ass? Should I handle funny feelings with class or put shit on blast? Should I relax, get a million red flags before I decide to step? Or should I listen to that feeling I constantly neglect? Should I listen to that feeling that ends up right in the end? Or just pretend that I don't the end up right again? Ooh. 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 Or am I trying to create them? Should I let these opportunities that's not for me pass or take them? Should I keep working on my craft, trust God, and waste them? Or go in survival mode, take matters in my own hands and mistake some? I think I question you a lot because I never felt safe. From the internal to the external, all I did was escape. Imagine a weight, a feeling like nobody could relate. A society that bashes your skin, face, and race. And going home to a place where the heart ain't but weight. I ain't no saint in these words I paint. A picture so clear, there should be no complaints. A conformer was born, loving, conditional people. Every day my heart mourned, knowing stuff was wrong, but still was going along, hanging around crowds that I didn't belong. All go so much, I didn't know I was gone. Needing others' approval to keep me strong, not realizing I was the source all along. But I had an agenda too. Break my back in exchange for I love you or a presence or two. Was it worth it? Hell no. I just wanted to feel accepted, boo. Mm. Ain't trusting my own decisions, so I let people decide for me. When I give people what they want, the more they ride for me. But when I say no, all the yeses die before me. Mm. The closer I got to God's glory, my people pleasing started to die slowly. Use my pain as a stepping stone instead of a sob story. Travel through myself, no round trip, because this journey to self-love is endless, so let me end with this. Intuition, I got a confession. I wasn't seeing life through you. It was through my wound of rejection. As a form of protection, I avoid Way to reflection and ignoring you are living through the consequences has been my biggest lesson. Thank you. Stop to it. I'm badass with anything that I'm handling. From North New Jersey, grew up in Urban 10, then moved back to North, this time around Dominicans. From being around blacks or out of place citizen, to make the best of it, I had to fit in. Suppress my culture, rocking bundles, saying boy begin. Yeah, back then, being me felt like sin. Afro textured hair, different flaws and dark skin. Sad to say bullying from outside went in. Tearing myself down became my way of coping. Mm. It's funny how your inner critic feels like a friend. I'm trying to cut this off, but she's still lurking. She trying to reel me in with stories for attention. This ain't IG, but I added her like a mention. Told her good luck reaching me, cause I'm a sentient. 
And now, being me feels like a win. My name is Hago and I got people hopping in. Call to the front line every day I'm in formation. Cause I courageously face my complications. That's why I'm able to lead by demonstration. The in internal was no military stations. When I say I'm seeing green, I'm just a green machine. Think about it, how I go, the name is what it seems. I be on go, but got a presence, that stays when I leave. Had the experience of hate to know what self love means. I'm so locked into my own greatness, I threw away the keys. Yeah. Okay guys, so my Instagram, Hoppin with Hago, H-O-P-P-I-N with W-I-T-H, Hago, H-A-G-O. I gotta come around and follow the rest of y'all. And where you gonna be Saturday? Oh, Saturday, I'm gonna be there on the go. That's what I'm, for. I'm gonna be on the panel, so I'm gonna be giving advice, as you guys all know. Well, you know, actually you don't. So I'm a life coach, speaker, writer, and what I do is I help women shut the door on toxic dating and relationship yeah, cycles so period. they can attract healthier relationships. So it's going to be a speed dating event when you find up. I'm going to be there explaining what not to do because I used to be that woman. So now I'm doing things to go against that. So I hope to see you all. Thank you so much. Let's give it up a Halloween, please.